Hey Corey, my name's Simon from Little Big Marketing San Diego. You spoke to my brother Mark um, about having this free custom video um, that's going to show you some information on a service called SEO. And the information I want to share with you is a little bit about the opportunity that exists for SEO for you, um, but also a little bit about the process and how it works, um, you know, in the long term. So, first of all, I want to uh, start with showing the opportunity. So what I've done is typed in a keyword that is relevant to you. Um, a keyword is anything someone might search in Google looking for a particular product or service. And I've I've scrolled past here. We've got Google guaranteed ads. We've got Google pay per click ads here. You can see ad there. Um, local business ads and then the local map pack or the Google map pack for Google business accounts. And then we've got the organic search results section here, which is what I'm kind of focusing on uh, to begin with. And I've gone ahead and taken a look at your top competition here. I've skipped Yelp. Um, and I'm going to look at San Diego Kitchen Renovation just to show you the amount of organic traffic traffic that they're gaining from Google each month um, from that organic search results section. Okay, so they're, they're looking at approximately 747 clicks. So this tool I have their, their URL in here is called Arifs or Ahrefs. And it shows me what the, everything that they're doing in terms of SEO um, to rank their website on Google. So SEO stands for search engine optimization. And basically it's the process of making a Google uh, or of ranking a Google My Business account and website into those uh, top pages on Google and, and preferably obviously the, the first position, position one. Um, it is a very lucrative um, service once it starts taking off SEO. Uh, as you can see here, if these guys were gaining around 750 clicks each month, and if they were only closing, um, you know, 10% of that, they could be generating an extra 75 jobs per month. So that's why this can be such a lucrative, um, you know, a lucrative service to use. I'm not saying these guys are booking that amount of jobs. That's a huge amount of jobs, particularly for renovation. But you can imagine if, if this traffic is relevant traffic to their service, um, they're getting a lot of phone calls from that. So that's kind of the idea is to put your website in front of people that are looking for your service. Okay, so that's a little bit about the opportunity. And what I want to show you here is some of the organic keywords as well that these guys are currently ranking for. And I'm going to filter this on San Diego. So we're only looking at uh, location relevant terms or location relevant keywords. And I'm going to filter on volume here. And you can see over on the left, these are the keywords. And this column here where it says volume. So the one in next from uh, next to these, oops, just click that again. The one in uh, next to these round numbers here is volume, which is how many times the keyword on the left here is searched for per month. So if we scroll down to where it was remodelers, we've got 500 searches each month from uh, in Google looking for kitchen remodeler San Diego, bathroom remodel San Diego, another 500 times. Now that the top spots on Google stand to gain around 28 to 30 percent of the the volume of searches, um, so you'd be pulling in approximately 150 plus clicks. Uh, through to your website each month from each one of these keywords so that just these two keywords alone could get you uh, approximately 300 clicks or 300 traffic through to your website um, and, and again if you're sort of closing that that 10% mark um, it stands to make you know a lot of money so that's kind of how it works now in terms of what I like to focus my SEO efforts on this I, I focus on three main areas and that is content backlinks and citation and I'm going to explain them as I go but the first one I'm talking about is content content um, the, what I'm referring to specifically is words and images on your home page Google likes to see at least 1500 to 2000 words on a home page the reason is it wants to show people searching for you know your target service it wants to show those people the expert in the field and if you've got no content on your website Google has no way of knowing that you are an expert in your field so we want to put some information about how the you know how the service uh, is performed why you're different from other services that this is why we have um, you know about us sections and things like that on a website to tell Google exactly who we are why we do it what we do when we do it and where we do it okay so it's very important to have that content on the website the other um, factor with uh, content or words specifically is that you can you can place more keywords throughout your content so I see here you've got San Diego's top rated home remodeling experts I would be making that top rated San Diego home remodeling experts okay so top rated San Diego home remodeling that's your keyword 
Um, and therefore you're essentially taking the guesswork out of, out of it from, for Google. Google's trying to guess what you do and where you do it, but if you can actually condense those keywords and make them what people are searching, Google has uh, no guessing to do, okay? The, the next part of content is your images, and um, you know it's best to just take uh, images on your mobile phone. They actually embed data onto your image of where the image was taken, and of course, when it was taken, and Google uses this to actually look at like a trust factor. It actually checks the embedded, the embedded data on the image and says, yep, this was taken in a relevant area by this company, okay? Um, so that's content, and then what I like to do is compare um, to your top competitor. So if we go and have a look at these guys to see how much content they have, they have quite a bit. I would say these guys are pushing that 1500 word mark. So the next step up is to then go ahead and make sure that you do more, um, more content. So if they have 1700 words, you want to go and get 2000. If they have 2200 words, you want to have 2500. You want to be more of an expert than your top competitor. And you also want to have more of those, uh, those location relevant images or job relevant images on your homepage as well. Okay. So once we've sort of created ourselves as an expert in the, in the field, we then want to endorse ourselves with, uh, with from other uh, locally relevant websites, locally and industry relevant websites to, to essentially back us up, to endorse the fact that yes, we are an expert. And that's where backlinks come into play. So backlinks are just anywhere one website refers to another via a clickable link. And since they act like endorsements, they actually endorse that, uh, that expert. You know, if you've got all that content on there, you've built yourself out and now you're getting endorsements from other industry relevant sites saying, yes, this person is the, is the expert. Google's going to start believing it. So what I can do here is like, if I click on that referring domains and referring domains is just the website that the backlink is coming from, we can actually see exactly where they're all coming from. So I can see there's quite a few, um, what we call directory listings here, like Yelp, Home Advisor, Angie's List. Um, Triple B, you know, Super Pages is another one. Yellow Pages, Porch is more of a, um, so it's like a, a directory listing, social media combined. Um, YP, these are all great um, directory listings you've got here. Um, looks like you've got quite a lot. But what I like to do is come along and use. We already know this this business here is ranking. So what I like to do is come in here and use these guys like a roadmap. Um, the content on their homepage is, is telling me that uh, obviously this, whatever, whatever they've got in here is painting them as the expert, but we also now want to get those same endorsements, but then more. Okay. So I'm going to use this as an exact roadmap to go and get the exact links that these guys have that I, that I deem as valuable. Um, because you obviously want, you know, the more industry relevant and location relevant websites that you're getting endorsements from, uh, they're, they're higher value. Okay. So. We're going to get all the high value ones that they have. We're going to go out and reach out to those same sites and say, can you give us an endorsement or, or a backlink? Um, plus then go and get more. And that's how we essentially make ourselves more of an expert. The third tip is citations. So that's back. That was content and backlinks. Now citations are anywhere your business name, number and address are re uh, mentioned on Google. Uh, we saw on yours here, some of these um, directory listings are the most common citation sources. Okay, so you want to go and get a whole heap more of these citation sources. It also includes social medias, Facebook, Twi uh, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, um, Pinterest, etc. Um, to build out your brand network. This is building out your branded presence. Okay, so you're now an expert, you're endorsed as an expert, and you have a large branded presence. That's essentially the, the, the soul of SEO are those three tips. So that's... um. That's a little bit about you know why people do SEO and then how you can go about doing SEO. It's something that people do do themselves, um, but this is obviously what we do. Um, so if you are interested in trying to gain some of this um, type of traffic that these guys are getting or more, um, feel free to reach out uh, to Mark by email um, and we'll set up a meeting. The next steps would be we dig deep onto your business, your goals in terms of revenue, um, to see essentially if we can actually achieve what your goals are. So if you wanted to make an X amount of revenue per year, I would look into these keywords, make sure that I can actually put you at the top of enough of those keywords at the, at the top of Google for enough of those keywords to generate the traffic, to then generate the leads to then, you know, if you have a certain close percentage, uh, maybe you close two out of 10 jobs or, or out of 10 leads or five out of 10 leads, whatever it is. Um, we work our way through the numbers to make sure that you can actually achieve that revenue goal. 
Okay, so that's kind of how we do it. And then we draw up a full plan on exactly how we plan to, to rank the site and what and what for and where. Um, and then as long as you're happy with it, we would then potentially move forward. So that's kind of the next steps from here if that's what you want to do. If you've got any other questions at all, feel free to reach out. Um, we do provide a lot of free training, consultation and things like that as well. Totally up to you. So I hope to hear from you and I'd love to get your feedback on this video. I really do like to make sure that I'm adding value to, to the business owners uh, that we that we that we talk to. So thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.